Welcome to Laptop Media. Before us we have the HP ProBook 450 G4. The ProBook G4 keeps what's good from the previous version while offering slight changes here and there. Hopefully most of them will turn out to be good, but one thing is for sure. The upgrade to the newest Kaby Lake generation of CPUs will be more than beneficial. However, this has affected the price of the notebook which you can check in the description below. Let's begin with the lid. It has a metallic looking, hard grey finish. We kind of miss the matte surface since it provides more secure grip but also leaves fingerprints quite visible. The new material doesn't seem to impress with much sturdiness and feels like the old one. Hinges are once again delightful and not overly tightened. The bottom plate is once again plastic, the color is grey and it fits the overall look. Also the two service slits are replaced with a bigger one. The interior is very much the same except for the touchpad. Now instead of using dedicated mouse buttons, there is a single trackpad area with relatively smooth surface and accurate clicky feedback. It also feels much bigger and definitely more responsive. The surface around the keyboard is brushed aluminum with slightly concaved keyboard tray for extra ergonomics. The travel of the keys is shorter but the excellent feedback has remained so we can still say it's still a high quality keyboard. We're happy with the design and build quality of the machine, although we remain uncertain of its ability to compete against similarly priced models with a better choice of materials, like the Lenovo IdeaPad 510, Acer Aspire V3 series or even the Acer Travelmat X349M. The HP ProBook 450 uses a full HD TN panel, however some of the results don't show better image quality. Viewing angles are poor due to the use of TN panel. The maximum recorded brightness in the middle is 202 nits, more than optimal for well-lit indoor use, but not very much for outdoor use. The color temperature is slightly deviating from the optimal, 6500K to 7100K, and the contrast ratio is rather low, 330 to 1 before and 270 to 1 after calibration. We found the sRGB coverage slightly below the average for this price range, 49%, which means that less than half of the colors can be reproduced by the screen. But don't let all of this negativity bring you down. Yes, the display results may be low, but don't forget that the HP ProBook G4 is a business laptop, with no need of a high-end IPS matrix for multimedia and gaming. We develop unique profiles tailored for each individual display model and we'll show you just how easy it is to install and use them. Firstly, for working with Photoshop, CorelDRAW or just overall usage of the laptop, we'd recommend you the Officework web design profile that will maximize the 450 GeForce color accuracy. You can see main and additional colors inside the sRGB gamut pre and post calibration. We tested the accuracy of the display with 24 commonly used colors. You can check out the results at factory condition and also with the office work web design profile. The next figure shows how well the display is able to reproduce really dark parts of an image, which is essential when watching movies or playing games in low ambient light. The left side of the image represents the display with stock settings while the right one is with the gaming and movie nights profile activated. You can easily check for yourself how your display handles the darkest nuances. We were pleased by the results from our PWM test. We recorded high frequency PWM only below 60 nits, while the rest of the brightness levels were PWM free. Just make sure you use the laptop above 51% brightness and you'll be set for long hours of work without any eye strain. Installing of a health guard profile not only eliminates PWM but also reduces the harmful blue light emissions while keeping the colors of the screen perceptually accurate. If you are not familiar with the harm from blue light emissions, you can learn more about it in our specialized article that I will link in the top right corner of this video. The ProBook 450G4 retains the M2 SATA SSD slot present in the previous generation. It supports 2280 sticks and our unit shipped with one. However, the 2.5-inch drive was nowhere to be found. The laptop supports two RAM slots compatible with DDR4 memory. The 48Wh battery delivers an above-average performance. For average use and web browsing it withstands for around 8 hours and 20 minutes. The gaming test took a toll on the battery and out of the system you'll get around 3 hours and 32 minutes of playtime. The Core i7-7500U is part of the latest Intel Kaby Lake generation of CPUs and brings much higher clock rates. 
We compare the ProBook 450 with other notebooks with the same CPU. You can check the full test interview in the Laptop Media website. The ProBook uses an NVIDIA GeForce 930MX, which with some alterations has allowed it to perform better than its predecessor. The specs remain the same, 384 CUDA cores, 24 texture mapping units, 16 render output units and a 64-bit memory interface. During the extensive temperature test, the CPU rose up to 79 degrees Celsius, while the GPU maintained stable at 71 degrees. Temperatures on the surface were also pretty low, so even under heavy load, the cooling system will provide smooth and cool performance. Our final summation for the HP ProBook 450 G4 is that it delivers more than we expected. A design that isn't prone to smudges in fingerprints, an excellent keyboard and touchpad, the new KB Lake Core i7-7500U processor that offers a more than elevated performance, and the shift from AMD Radeon R7 M340 to the NVIDIA GeForce 930MX is a welcome change, but not always perfect. As always, there is still something more to ask for. For instance, the lack of another USB A3 connector is a big miss and the image quality is somehow subpar even for a budget business laptop. Nevertheless, the laptop still sits on the top of our list of budget-friendly business solutions and it won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Thank you for watching Laptop Media. We have many more reviews waiting for you in our channel. Also consider subscribing so you'll always be up to date with the latest laptops, desktops, VR technologies, phones and everything our technological future will provide us. For more extensive information about this model and many more, visit laptopmedia.com.